Good morning, students. So today, in our grammar class, we will learn a new lesson. That is lesson number one. Actually, it is not a new lesson for you. I think you have learned earlier what is uh, the parts of speech. There are how many parts of speech? I think you have learned in your earlier classes. So today, we will just have a look. We will recall what we have learned in our earlier classes. So in our class, I think I, I remember that I have taught you what is noun and I also gave you to frame some, uh, some sentences, make some sentences of your own. So let us start again, once again with the parts of speech. Okay. So as we all know, there are how many parts of speech? Eight parts of speech. So they are noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb. Preposition, conjunction, and interjection. So, let us begin with number one, that is noun. So, what is a noun? A noun is a word that names a person, place, animal, thing. We all know what is a noun. Yes or no? So, it names a person, any person, place, animal, or thing. For example, you can see here example, Rahul, Chandigarh, Dog, Box, etc. Next comes pronoun. A pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun that means when we are not using the noun word we can use a uh, pronoun instead of that for example he she they their etc so from he we can make a sentence that is for example he is a good boy so instead of rahul for example rahul is the noun rahul is a good boy we are using rahul instead of rahul we are using he okay he is a good boy so I think noun and pronoun is clear for you all. Next comes. Next comes adjective. What is an adjective? It is a describing word. That means it describes the noun or pronoun in a sentence. For example, you can see here that is fat, tiny, dirty, intelligent, beautiful, clever. Many things are there. Okay. So it describes the noun. Or pronoun how it is or how he is how she is for example we can say that Rahul is a good boy okay Rahul is a good person good here is an adjective okay next comes verb what is a verb it is an action word it shows the action done by the noun a pronoun so what is a verb it is an action word it shows the action of a noun or pronoun in a sentence for example, the examples of verb are play, eat, run, swim, sleep, etc. Okay. So, uh, we can make a sentence from here. Or from play. That is, Rahul is playing football. Or Rahul is playing. Okay. So, this was the adjective and verb. Okay. I think you are clear with adjective and verb. Next comes adverb. So, what is an ad adverb? It is an action describing verb. So it describes the verb. Okay. Now, what was verb? It only describes what was verb? It only it was an action word. That means it shows the action of a noun or pronoun. And adverb shows it describes the verb. How? Okay. How? For example, slow, today, later. So in the last in the last part of speech that is verb i gave an example that is rahul is playing but how rahul is playing rahul is playing slowly so slowly here is the adverb okay preposition it is a relation showing word so it shows the relation of a noun or pronoun with the object in a sentence Okay, so it is a relation showing what it shows the relation between the noun or pronoun. It may be noun or pronoun with the object of the sentence. Example, on, in, with, etc. For example, we can say make a sentence here that Rahul is playing with whom? With Seema. Okay, so this is the relation. Relation of Seema and Rahul. That they are playing with each other. Okay. That is preposition. Now next comes the last two parts of speech. That is conjunction. It is a joining word. What is conjunction? It joins two words 
in a sentence. Two words or you can say more words in a sentence. Okay, your conjunction, what does it do? It joins two or more words in a sentence. For example, and, because, but, etc. So, from here we can make a sentence that Rahul and Seema are playing. Okay, so just joining their two or more words that is Rahul and Seema are playing. Okay, and next come the last part of speech that is interjection. So, what is interjection? We all know that it is a mood showing word. It shows our mood, how we are feeling, happy, sad, angry, etc. Okay, so the examples here are wow, hooray, alas, etc. So from hooray, we can make a sentence here. We make a sentence that is hurrah, we won the match. That means we are feeling happy, it is showing our happy mood. Okay, so this is interjection. So students, I think you are clear with what are the eight parts of speech. What are they? Noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. Okay students, this was for today. Thank you.